Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tara. I'm a farmer from Northern California, and this channel is mainly about farming, but sometimes it's not. So we are up here bright and early on the farm. We're gonna spray weeds. Um, I've had a really, really difficult time spraying weeds because it has to be done when there's no wind. And that's normally the wee hours of the morning and I've got Waylon. Um, so we did a little experiment last night and Waylon spent the night at grandma and grandpa's. Uh, so I was able to just wake up and get out here and we're gonna see how this goes. Might have to do this a couple times a year so I can get my spring done. Okay, I used everything that was in the sprayer so I got it refilling right now and I thought this might be a good moment for a little life update. All right, let's just do a quick little life update. You guys are gonna be seeing a lot of this in the future videos. So just to address some of the questions you guys have been asking, my dad is not farming anymore, so he has no crop. He is doing land leveling basically 100% of the time. He also puts in crossings, like in my last video, he's got the excavators, he's got a bulldozer, and then all the land leveling tractors. So that is his main thing now, his only thing now. AJ graduated from PA school. He was in school the last time I was doing videos. He got what I think is the dream job, um, but he got an awesome job. He is doing great. School was so worth it. He's loving his career. He's an awesome dad. Waylon is going to be two at the end of July. We are both just so mind blown by this. I can't believe how fast Waylon has grown. He's walking, he's talking, he loves chickens, he loves working on the farm. Uh, forklift right now is one of the favorite things. Definitely the excavator. He might be an excavator driver when he grows up. A lot of you guys have been asking about my chickens. Of course I still have chickens and you guys will be seeing them soon. I have probably 50 to 60 chickens. I still love them. It's definitely a lot with a toddler, but it's getting a little bit easier. I love having them. I still sell my eggs. I am still crazy chicken lady for sure. Now for me personally, one of the really big ones is I have an employee. His name is Francisco. He's a rock star. If you guys look back, I did post a little like harvest video. It's just a little tiny clip and Francisco is in that video. He started, I'm not exactly sure, possibly like around June of last year. So this is an exciting year because he's gonna see the process all the way through, you know, from like harvest to harvest. So those are just a few things I wanted to update you guys on. Obviously, you're going to be seeing them in the videos. If you guys have any other questions you want me to address, just let me know. I'm so excited to be back. You guys have been so welcoming. It really feels great. And all right, let's go back to work. So as you guys know, I got this new tractor. Um, I'm really happy with it. It drives smooth and everything's been great. But I did complain about this crappy cup holder. So I was trying to look online for different solutions and they make these cup holders, they say they're stroller cup holders, but they like latch onto a bar like this and then they have the cup holder out here. So I'm going to see if I can find one in the store. I don't know, maybe Target or Walmart, but if not, I'll order off Amazon. Of course they have everything, but I'm gonna try to find it in the store. My only concern, I mean, it's gonna have to have a tight grip because obviously you're shaking around on the tractor. So I don't know if it'll loosen up and like slide down here. Actually, over here, it's it's got a little bit more of a straighter, but that's what we're going to try. We're going to see if we can find one, and we're going to test out some third-party cup holders. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you may have missed that my dad also got a new tractor. This thing is a beast. It is a T9600. We had to close off a pretty large bridge to drive it home, but we did great. This thing is huge. So you'll be getting to see this baby a little bit. Apparently it drives completely different than all my dad's other tractors. So I told him I, I'm gonna need to learn how to drive this because obviously like my tractor could fit in the cab of this tractor. All right, the moment you've all been waiting for. <laughs> chickens yes i still have a couple of chickens just a couple all right so yes i still have a couple of chickens 
I still use this amazing, amazing double chicken coop. Dogs want some chicken for lunch, apparently. Um, I don't think he's on YouTube, but if you have Instagram, it's Chickens of Paradise. He built these. They're so amazing. I've had them for a couple years now. Definitely the best thing to happen to my chickens. I still use this omelet coop. I have my happy little Bantam family in here. I've got Roscoe the rooster still and his ladies. This is a coop that I've reviewed a few, few times and I still highly, highly recommend it. So if you are someone that just wants somewhere to like four to five chickens, this is the one for sure. I love it. My next project out here is I want to build a larger watering tank. I currently use three five gallon buckets and I have to refill them almost every day and I'm tired of that. So this little lady has been laying in here on some eggs. Um, let's see, my chicken coop is a disaster right now. But a lot of the times when I look in here, this is what I see. So I had no idea she was back there. I have no idea how long she's been there because I just discovered her like a week ago. So it could be a few weeks till we have babies or it could be any day or there could be babies under her right now. And I just don't know. I don't hear any chirping, but hopefully she'll be a good mom. So stay tuned. My chickens refuse to lay in the proper nesting boxes. So we took a desk apart like it was going in the garbage and I put these down here and they've, they've been laying in them. So not too bad. I also currently have an egg eater, which is driving me bonkers. They have access to oyster shells. They have access to everything they need. And I have so many chickens that it's almost impossible to figure out who's doing it. So I don't know how to break it right now. <sighs> it's driving me crazy. I gotta get the hot water out of the hose. This is the one thing that is like a bummer is we don't have any faucets out here at the chicken coop. So I do have a hose that's rolled out from our yard and it holds a lot of hot water. So even if I had auto water out here, I think be a lot of hot water in it, you know? That's no fun. Excuse me, sir. It's not ready yet. I hope you guys enjoyed the little life updates today. I will catch you next time.